It is very nice. <laughs> so if you if you want to get married to a full anigger, just be ready. <laughs> I'm standing in front of the residential area of the thousands of people who live in the Ndawara Ranch. And here is when you come inside a place like this, you have the houses. You understand that the people enjoy a lot of facilities. You have the electricity, you have the cable, and you even have, you even have uh, PDD. Can you imagine PDD in Dawara? <laughs> Young man, if PDD should hear about this, he'll kill you. <laughs> you have PDD around here. But what I want to highlight is the closeness of the houses. You discover that they are this close, and uh, with the, the many differences that they have, cultural, religious, ethnic, you, you, you might think that uh, conflict is bound to occur, but Julius Neba tells me that all is well in Dawara. Despite the differences, he says, all is well. Let's go find out how people, the people of Dawara, do live in peace and harmony. The houses that you're seeing constitute part of the village here in Dawara Highlands. Of course, what is very, very interesting is not the houses that you see. But of course, the different groups of persons living in those houses. Here in Dawara Highlands, they come from Dop, Nso, Nkom, and a host of villages here in the Northwest region. We also have a handful of Indians and a good Muslim community. All these persons who are here at Dawara Highlands have come in because of the tea estate and are trying to make ends meet. Therefore, they live together with their differences with a lot of problems which is common in every society and of course they would definitely find a way out through these situations or maybe the quarrels that they would have. This is why we are here today to see and meet these persons, ask them how they go about living together, how they cohabit together in peace, love and harmony here at the Nawara Highlands and also check out the social activities that they have plus maybe the social amenities that they also have here like electricity and water. In all, Stay with us as we take you into this village at the Nawara Highlands to find out from these persons themselves how life here is all about. This part, family part is the worst. We don't want to talk. Uh, yes. We are washing after this. Well, we got some. Okay. Good morning, mommy. Uh, good morning. We are going to ask you. I said, they enjoy on a corner and a day for for road for go for farm. Yes. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you how life for here, how life on Nawara day. You know, very early in the morning, I said, you go farm. How do they enjoy life? No, the life for your day fine. I only say if you do work for inside tea, uh -huh. you know, get your one bed for farm way, even jam and jamba or wait till you move and chop up uh -huh. before you buy some one. Uh -huh. Life for your no be easy for you. Okay, so in other words, where do you work for tea, try yes. for plant something to yes. for farm? Yes. Uh, how do you do for uh, bring up picking them? You know, when I get picking them for house, when I send them for school, or when I do how? Now, how will we do work now for you so we know say every